Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, uh, man, when are they bringing back alchemy pop procs? I agree, yeah, that's... I don't know. They're basically like, let's have no RNG in this expansion. It's like, uh... No thanks. Halls of Atonement? Oh, cool. Wow, that's it? 114k, I guess, is a lot for a single spell. He didn't even put Consecrate down, though. What the fuck? Why the fuck would you... Oh, there's also a thing. Uh, I guess that is pretty good damage, considering he didn't actually do anything else. Heroes! Oh, that's a lot of explosive. Running right into it. Oh, fuck. Let's forget about the bat. Well, honestly, without Divine Toll, I don't think pro I don't think Holy Pally is very good at all for five mans. It's only because of how good Divine Toll is. I feel like is why I like them so much right now. Okay. That could have been timed slightly better, but it's pretty good. Do we actually get two AMZs? I only see one buff, so now that is just a complete waste. Complete waste. Uh, Divine Toll is BIS, even better than Ash and Halo if you have the conduit. Right, agreed. We're talking about pure damage here, I think, where most people are talking about Ash and Halo, so... That's a different factor. A lot of people are taking it because of Raid, it's really powerful in Raid, obviously. I don't know, that would be an interesting thing if there was something like that. I guess there it is, and I, I've chosen against it. It's like the one is extremely good in raid and the other one is extremely good in five mans. Which would I pick? I don't know. I guess I would take the one that's extremely good in five mans, but... I mean, that's kind of where Bloody is at, but then there's one like this where it's pretty good in all content. It's hard to use. I don't know. You're not going to dispel any of them? We don't have a dispel, that's why. I was like, why are they both still in rage? We don't have anybody who can help me with that. I love this area though. 
I really wish they would do like a new Hakar raid, like an actual ZG raid. It's just like one of my favorite themes in the game is kind of like the forest, like the trollish forest, or I guess jungle. It's a jungle raid. Not a forest, it's a jungle. Okay, this is gonna work out well. I might as just combine this at this point. Bleeds. Beware. You can have forest trolls, not jungle trolls. Yeah. There's that's the Amani, right? The Amani are the jungle, the forest trolls. What the fuck was that? That was just like a scary sound it made, honestly. Beware. Well, that pack did not go as well as I had hoped it would. <laughs> Those people didn't have CDs up or something? I'll be honest, dude. I got a bit trolled out by BFA. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's GG. Guess I should have Gore Fiends. Didn't think I would ever need to do it. Guy likes to laugh. We have four different classes that could have all done something here. The DK, the other DK couldn't have, but everybody else could have done something. I actually guess the Paladin couldn't have either, because for some reason he doesn't have. Blinding light. I don't know why you would not take blinding light. Five minutes. Oh, somehow we didn't just get slaughtered there. I don't have fucking grip up, man. Hopefully this is still going to give count. I didn't know Faxi, Faxi pointed this out. That if you don't... Like if you let that mob become a serpent of a car or whatever that shit is, it gives less count? Or was it more count? Maybe it's more count. It would make sense if it gave more count, but less. I don't know why that would happen. Our trash damage is not good. It's less, so oh, jeez. Hopefully we still have count here. I tried to stun the explosive instead of the blade storm, Jesus. That happens more than it should, I, I don't know. Not ideal, obviously. Yeah, we're still fine. Actually, no, we're over count, so it must be more count. What's with this guy saying XD over and over again? Why does this get, oh my god. We keep wasting our AMZs. I don't think you'll notice it until 80% pride. Yeah, I don't, 
We're way we're actually over count, so I don't know. Answer Shaman. It's good. Yeah, it's a lot of damage from the Paladin. Not a lot of damage from the Mage. That was a bad use of his CDs then, apparently. They're coming up now, I guess. That's good. Right there is a Divine Toll moment. Ash and Halo did 83,000 damage, so that is kind of wild. But it means you pretty much can't use, you can only use it like a couple times a dungeon, right? Like you can't use it on trash and have it back up for the boss, so you basically only ever use it on bosses, which is not, I don't feel like that's a good spell for five mans, but, oh, great. How's that guy just not healing? We actually are in trouble here. All of a sudden, in trouble. There we go. A little scary. Almost failed to uh, break the shield there. Like I've seen it happen where the shield's so big that we fail to break the shield and then it transitions into another shield. So you just never make progress on the boss's health pool. Okay, let's not fuck around on this side now. Oh, with this paladin, we're definitely not going to have any trouble with the last phase. The last part of the last boss. So we just need to make sure everything else goes well up until then. And we have our good chance at an upgrade here. Hey, we did wipe on trash, though. Jesus, forgot about that. I didn't die, but everyone else did. Wow, that went off, what? Thought we had more time than that. Beware. Uh, you think ideal four covenant system would be one single? No, definitely not. They're all they're meant to all be like relatable in some way, you know? That would just be awkward. Oh, you're the PvP Covenant? What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, you don't want that. Yeah, this group's damage is not very good for this. I don't know if I'm just like playing around CDs improperly or something, but nobody's doing anything. You got one guy doing great damage and everybody else just ass fucking mediocre. Beware. Is there like really scared of being in melee range maybe? Yeah, I guess I could see why.
So you're saying I could just line a sight here? No, you are wrong. Good thing he, uh... Why are we not interrupting that? Good thing he put AMZ down. We have a paladin healer. I keep thinking, like, who is not interrupted? I'm so used to Resto Shaman. Okay, I can gore fiends. Lot of casts go off. What is that yellow shield on that guy? What the fuck? Oh, that's saved by the light, isn't it? That's cool. I've not actually seen that. How do you even get value out of that with. <laughs> what the hell? How do you even get value out of that with uh, Beacon of Virtue? It must just be this guy's macro uh, XD shit. He is using Beacon of Virtue, right? How do you even get Beacon of Virtue with Saved by the Light? That's weird. I'd love to try it, but it just doesn't seem like it'd be any good. What else is on that tier? Oh, this guy's out of mana as well. Oh, that's the Judgment of Light tier. It's an interesting tier. Yeah, I guess maybe I should try it. That's shock barrier, isn't it? Well, either way, maybe the icon, maybe the imagery was shock. No, it's definitely not, because I have shock barrier on me and I don't see any. This guy like this big yellow shield around him. Okay, I'm just gonna stop using, I'll just use my AMZ on the pull from now on. I don't know if this guy's just trolling or what. Actually, looks like I don't even get it. Like, I was in it and it wasn't giving me the buff there for some reason. Did that knock my pet off? I think I saw my pet go flying. What have we here? That dusty old Loa has sent debt collectors already? But I haven't had his mojo long enough to create my masterpiece. I think he macros XD to his combustion. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Good call. We've sussed it. Crack the source. Crack the code. Okay, see you later. Oh, this fight does a lot of fucking damage, man. This is such a good fight for that standstill thing as well. There's that save by the light. Doesn't look like I have it though, I don't know. Guess it just expired immediately. Oh, 
Ah oh, man, they defeated me. Oh yeah, ghoulish. Big big ten dollar donation today. Okay, well this went pretty well. Actually, yeah, hopefully it did go kind of well. That's pretty smart. That guy was there waiting for the shit to be over, just like you would do in Arnwield. Pretty good idea. Okay, so really the rest of this is going to be fairly chalk at this point, as long as we don't wipe to the third boss. Obviously, that's the hardest part, but. I guess there's still a couple dangerous things uh, coming up here, like this dude. Enraged spirit. Why is there no eye? Why does his name have no eye in it? What the fuck? What the hell's that about? Bugwa Voodoo, I guess. Or uh, Plater. His name has no eyes in it. Enraged spirit. Oh, I don't actually have AMZ up. How about the other DK uses it? He's only gonna use it when I use mine, I guess. Your font probably doesn't have an eye. <laughs> it's just a bug, I'm sure. I mean, the Risen mob has an eye in it. Something weird about that. Okay, so last two dungeons. At last two that were applicable at least we had our pet die or break or something it didn't die but it like broke and I don't know why so I'm gonna try to stay closer to it I guess the first explanation this first expansion in a long time I've been making some gold with blacksmithing yeah dude I'll tell you what blacksmithing is fucking awesome right now I, I'm loving professions right now honestly I wish that I had more time and interest in it because you can make a lot of money just kind of getting a fair amount of mine. Like, basically, I would just mine a lithium and then just make legendaries, and I'd probably make, like, mad money. I've already pretty much made all my money back from all the money I spent getting the legendaries in the first place. I spent probably, like, maybe, like, 200 and some K, and I have, like, over 200K in my paladin now, so. But I did, I did do a lot of mining myself, obviously. Okay, unfortunately we don't have the big pull coming in. Legendary market on my server is absolutely smashed. I know, people are idiots with the legendaries to be fair. So you do have to kind of get a little lucky with it, but uh, it's definitely a, uh, you know, it, it should be. It's not Blizzard's fault, at least, let's put it that way. They've done everything they could to make it as good as they could. The only thing they need to do is make it so when you're listing legendaries, it's not 
people don't list them for the price of the lowest one. That's the big issue, I guess, is the auction house interface. Best gold for me is the 168 gear. Oh, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't even have that. Kill the pet now, I guess. Uh, they make a great system and dumb people ruin it. Yeah, welcome to WoW. That guy dead? No, he's alive. Why is he just not being healed, though? What is this paladin doing? What is even going on? Guy's DC'd, I guess? I have no idea what this person's doing. The dude's been at... Yeah, he's just gonna die to busting now. The dude is at 1% health for, like, a minute. I walked away? What? He's saying he got out of range of explosives? Is that even a possibility? Yeah, see, we're actually over count now. Which is interesting. I should've just kept my pet, I guess. Okay, almost just died to... <laughs> Okay, good, he used his first, that's perfect. Finally. People just don't get undercutting, does nothing. It's true, but the, also the other confusion is that they actually don't know what they're selling. Like I see a guy selling a rank three legendary for what a rank one legendary goes for. It's like, that doesn't even make sense, dude. Why would you ever do that? Regardless of like how quick you want to move it. Like even if it's like a couple thousand more only, that's still. I don't know. I don't get it. Keep looking at the pa the the shaman's mana and be like, man, this guy's almost out of mana. Then I realize we're not looking at him. Oh, I'm stuck. Excellent. We didn't get all of the mobs, unfortunately. That's going to be a lot of busting. Yeah, battle res is fine there. We're not going to need uh Hopefully we're not going to need any battle reses, but... We're not going to need more than two for the second for this next boss. If we do, it's probably over. Although, to be fair... <laughs> we can definitely kill this boss. We can definitely wipe this boss and come back and still upgrade it. But, nah, I don't think that would happen. You can't actually even outrange this spell, it looks like. Okay, so I think we'll not get this shit up top and see what happens. Oh, this is way too much. I ended up getting it anyway. I think at least one mob is not needed though. I think it will be saving my life here, it looks like. Actually, everything's pretty much dead. I'll just save it. Fuck. Didn't get to get stacks at the end there. Oh, 
Okay, this is a lot of time left. That's pretty good. This key is really uh, generous now. I would, Jix, but it's just never, like, the battle is never over. Like, it's every single time I go to list items, there's always at least one or two up for that. So I'd literally just be, and they don't sell very often, so. I'd just be basically buying them and trying to do the community a service at that point. Which is what I, I did, do. I have done that, but. If I did that every single time, I'd have, like, twice as many legendaries as I made. Actually, I'd be wrong about the whole count situation. Now nah, we're definitely good, yep. We didn't need that. Actually, yeah, we didn't need the smaller, the other small mob as well. Didn't need either of those. God, I just keep getting smacked by those. Not good. Really gotta save Trinket and shit. That was sketchy as fuck. See, Divine Toll. Oh, that was a pretty good uh, Beacon of Virtue heal, though. Alright, hopefully this guy's gonna go crazy damage-wise, because I already feel unsafe. Or not, I guess? What's going on? Is he worried about it not being up for the last boss, maybe? Boss is dying very fast now. We got AMS for the first. Oh, okay, that guy's dead. Almost dead. I do feel like Blizzard shot themselves in the foot with Lego 11 legendary. Leveling requirements made an inflated supply after demand tapered off. Uh, I, I think it would be cool if you could combine the lower rank ones into higher rank ones. That I think that would solve that in my eyes. But I do agree, it's it was good opening months, but yeah, it's gonna get really bad by the end. Do I keep not having a? God, that does so much fall damage. It's insane. I keep not having blink up for this, I'm killing it too fast, I guess. Some sort of legendary disenchanting would be nice. Not sure exactly how it would work though. Yeah, something that you could do to like turn rank ones into something valuable. Even like if you just was able to scrap them like in BFA. That would actually probably be the, yeah, that would actually probably be the way to do it. Have them, be, make them scrappable. Okay, so not even gonna use pet here. Beware. Maybe you've been skulking in 
the shadows for too long. I like this dungeon, but I find it doesn't like me. Oh, I was Timothy. What's making you say that? Somebody getting that? Okay, good. You think Unholy is the best melee for Mythic Plus? No. Well, I don't know. They're pretty good, I guess. I don't know, man. Havoc is like really appealing to me. I'm dead. Wow, and I fucked that AMS up big time as well. I don't know if we're gonna survive this next one. This Paladin is definitely not, I tell you, without Divine Toll, the spec is not very good. Yeah, like, actually die to this one. We're good. Man, blood's up. Uh, Soul Crush on Tyrannical is pretty big, yeah. To be really, if we're not gonna actually use AMS and shit, or a uh, rune weapon and shit for it, then we have to be very careful. Okay, well that was easy. Jesus, fastest I've ever seen that done on my side. Havoc seems to be really great trash damage on every pull, at least the ones I play with. Yeah, their overall is really good. 100%. Dark in here all of a sudden. Okay. So, 16% it looks like. Use the upgrade. This key is fucking easy this week. I played with some good Havocs, yeah, they're, they're definitely good ones out there. That was going the wrong way. God, and that is with a fucking 20% damage reduction. Imagine what that would do if completely unmitigated. Especially with the amount of burst in Mythic Plus, it's nice having a DPS that can bring damage on demand, definitely. Okay, well that was, we crushed that too. Multiple, probably like three and a half minutes left. I would just needed a single target buff, not an overall buff. I kind of agree, yeah. But how would you do that? That's the problem with Havoc, right? Like, the spec actually doesn't have a fucking single target buff. Like, there's no way you could buff a single target spell. You'd be buffing one of their weakest damaging abilities, basically. You'd be basically, like, changing the class just to make it good at single target only. Sweet. 